Hello everybody, welcome back to programming in python.com. Here in this video, I am going to show you how to create a simple temperature converter app in Python GUI using TK Inter. So let's get started. So this app basically what it does is converts a Celsius into Fahrenheit and Kelvin units and similarly a Fahrenheit unit into Kelvin and Celsius units and similarly for the other unit as well. Now let's create the application. First we will create a new python file and name it as temp converter before getting started before writing anything first we we'll look how our how our finished application looks like so this is our application what it does is just takes the input temp uh, input some input value and converts those into Fahrenheit and Kelvin units. And if we take this Fahrenheit, it will convert into Celsius and Kelvin and similarly for Kelvin. So basically this is our application. So now let's get started with coding this application. First thing we have to do is we have to first initialize and import TK Inter, which is our standard GA Python package, and we are using this import TK Inter as TK, and we have to take a root and initialize it. So this is how we have initialized it. And we have to one thing that is to run main loop, which keeps the uh, application from closing immediately after its execution. So now everything we write should be in this between two this between, uh, between these two lines. So first, as we see in our application here, there is a label, and then enter field, and a options menu. This is called options menu. In other uh, in other languages uh, when we are developing any anything for web development or web design it's called as a drop down menu here we call it as an option menu so first we will take this as a label we'll call it as an input label input label equal to tk dot label and we will place this label in in root which we have just initialized and we'll give it text for this label that is enter temperature then we will enter something called input entry this is called this is an entry field which we can enter any number and for this instead of writing text we need a text variable so we have to enter some text instead of writing some text statically as we did for the label there this will be something like number input this shouldn't be a this shouldn't be a string so it should be error because we just have to use this as an string var so after entering these two we will place them in a ROM. In the previous applications, we used pack, which uh, automatically places the widget based upon the space available in the window. But here we can we uh, we can set the widgets wherever we want. That's the advantage of using grid. And we use by default the column will be zero for grid. So if I give only row as zero, uh, its column is taken as zero. So now for input entry, we will go we'll go row as zero and column equal to one. This basically this grid system is all about rows and columns. We can align our widgets and any row or any column as we wish so that is how our grid system works so we have aligned this 
label and this entry field now what's next is to enter a drop down list that is known as option menu so i will here write take the variable as drop down list first i will i will store all the values which are using in the drop down here that would be those are celsius fahrenheit and kelvin so i have stored all the options drop down equal to as usual we will use tk dot option menu and this will be also placed in root and here we will use a variable which stores the current value of the drop down and we will also should store the all the items in the drop down so if uh, even this var should be given as a string var so we will change that quickly yeah and we will place this and this column would be 2 0 1 and 2 so this will be placed directly uh, this will be in a row this will be in a single row so we should also set the first drop down value we'll also set the first drop down value that would be this drop down list of zero that will be that will this will show celsius as the input drop down value so now at this point if we run our application and see this looks like this pretty simple this is basically this we'll have an a label and entry field to enter some something here and a drop down now we'll just have two labels that would be as we see in our main application we should have two labels and a button now i'll design a button i'll call this as result button tk dot button that we place in the root element and this and its text should be convert i will place this in the second row and i will introduce you to something called column span instead of using just column i'll use column span as four so it will span the so it will take the space of four columns so that it so that the button can be aligned centered so I use this column span as four, and now, and now I use two labels. They are called as result labels. I label equal to tk dot label, and its text would be. Actually, we'll change this text later, but for now, I'll use something as result one, and for the second label to I will place this and change it to result 2 and I will place this result label 2 dot grade it would be in the second row that would be row equal to sorry third row that would be 0 1 2 and I will use column span similarly for label 1 this would be actually this would be in the row 2 and this would be in row 3 as you see here this but this will be the row 0 this will be in row 1 this will be row 2 and this will be row 3 so now if you run this application and see so this is our application simply this is our in the next video i will tell you how to get the value of this so when every time a option menu value is changed we have to store that value somewhere so we can so when convert button is pressed we have to use that value to do some calculations and when we enter some number here and press convert we will show the result in these two labels so
so stay tuned for the next video thank you for watching